I know what you're thinking. It's this is probably in April and everything, but and I'm saying it about a new year. But sometimes we need to take a new approach and everything. And I got two of my friends here. Uh, I'm flying guy. That's that's guy. And I'm sly. So we have guy and sly. Yeah, we're going to hold you old. to what? We're going to do. Hold you like honey. With clothes. Really? Yeah. I'm Batman. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I managed to talk Batman into leaving, but of course, Sly and guy are both here oh oh yeah that you remember slide oh this is my voice is changing it. Oh. yeah his voice uh, one day is hoistly like mine well that's nice but anyway we we're going to talk about this and let's take a look at this next video we're going to show uh, how to sell clothes yeah we're both good at that too <laughs> no 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 don't lie okay let's go you can stay over there. So, listing clothes is important in how you lay it on and present it. Now, I'm going to show you what we do that we have had good success. And I've talked to people who've done this too and everything and watched a lot of videos. So, this is a, a informative information. So, now, follow me to the camera. And as you look on the floor, now, you notice I have the, it's on the floor here. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, in some aspects, it gives you a greater range of motion. Now, the first thing you do, you make sure that the material is washed and it's clean. When it's washed and clean, then you know you have something to do with it. If you've got stains and you didn't wash out, get rid of it. Don't even mess with it. And at the same time, you smell it. Now, if you have a dominant smell that stinks, again, after it's washed and the smell's still there, it goes south. Then make a close examination about the material itself. Check the seams. Check the area to make sure there's no flaw. Now here, oh, I thought there was a, I thought there was a strand here, but it was a wrinkle. And what I've done here is, with the wrinkles in this shirt, there's two ways to approach it. You can use a steamer, or you can use an iron, or you can use the third way, which is my way, which is the cheapest and probably the most laziest way to do it. I'll take a little cleaner so that's your water and I will mist it and I will press out the wrinkles okay now this is very important measurement is everything to clothing and this is what I do I will take this on the shirt and I will lay it out you notice that you zoom up there and you can see the size I will take a picture of that shirt. They can see how long it is. They don't have to ask me how long. They can see the pictures. Then I measure across. Again, they can see it. I used to tell them what's 44, but then they asked, was well, it 44 here and 44 there? I take pictures of the measurement. It solves that. Then you have to measure the arms. Again. You take a picture, you have 19 and a half. This is also important too. Sometimes the shirt's openings, measure that. Put the measuring tape there. After I've taken pictures of that, then I take a picture of the label. Here the label happens to show it's cane. And also, if you can move back a little bit, I think the light, okay, right there, you can see the size. And then a lot of times you flip it over, it describes the kind of material it's made of. People are going to ask what kind of material it is, the size, the label, pictures say it all. After I've done my first shot, <clears throat> then I flip it over the other side. And uh, I got some debris out the floor. <laughs> but at this point, I really don't have to do any measurements because whatever is measured the other way is this way. So this is how we do shirts. 
And now let's pause here and let's talk about pants. Now we're gonna go measure pants. Now if you look down here on the floor, again, the same principles apply. You check for cleanliness, smell, look for any kind of flaws. Some of these things are distressed on purpose, so you have to kind of determine if that's a factor or not. Then, once again, you, I do identical the same thing when I do the shirt. I'll measure here. There you have the length. Now it's also important when you're doing jeans, you do the inseam. Again, I'll take the inseam like so. I'll lay it there, take a picture. Then I've, I discovered something recently, and it's something apparently I never knew or I never paid attention. Apparently the waist and the rear end are two different sizes. I just thought they were the same like me, <laughs> but I was wrong. So the best thing to do at this stage is you measure the waist. In this particular case, the waist is looks like it's 21. And then, then you measure down where the hips are. In this particular case, you notice the difference. This was like, can you see like 21 and a half? And you look at the rear around the hips, and you're at 24. That's like three inches difference. <laughs> so that's something that I wasn't aware of. Again, you flip it over, you take a picture of the label, take a picture of the size on the label, and then a lot of times you can flip it over like this and take a picture of the material, what it's made of, the additional instructions. Now sometimes on jeans, you can also ask, measure how wide are the pockets. Again, you can lay it out like so. Voila, take the picture. And you can explain this in the description too. Once again, oh, once I forgot to do one other thing. Uh, I measure the opening down here. Because we've done the inseam, how, how wide is it? You see there, it's like 13, 14 inches. So that's sort of important there too. And this other little pocket, I don't, I'm not sure if you can measure that, but if you want to, you can. And then again, flip it over, take a picture of the backside, any kind of uh, labels like that. And then when you list it, this is gonna be very important. When you list it, sometimes it's important to list not only the, the maker, in fact, notice these pictures here I have here on, on the side over here. You notice these pictures of these ones. You notice how it, I have it laid up and how I have it settled in the picture that we're looking at right there. Because that picture shows the description as to who's made, who's made, who it's made by, if it's made by a certain type of jeans, company, sizes, and sometimes the name. And, and a lot of times what I do is to get an accurate description, sometimes I'll, um, I'll do eBay, excuse me, I will do a search on eBay or use the, uh, the other search engine, I can't remember what it's called, Google, and then you can get the, what it's, the, the description, what it is, and sometimes they have certain distinctive names, and that's important too and everything in your description. So, by all means, don't be shy about listing clothes, but be thorough, because if you're thorough, people will actually will buy the clothes and, and with confidence, and if there's any dispute, the only disputes I've ever had sometimes has been the fact that we washed them way before, and then we brought them out, someone, and we put them in a plastic bag to keep it thing, put a smell freshener, and then we just shipped them out. And then sometimes people would complain it was still sour. Uh, I do something that my wife loves. I said, honey, I can't smell. Would you smell it for me? She doesn't like to do that. <laughs> so she says, if in doubt, give it a wash. And a lot of times it's a good idea. Sometimes we've had some real borderline, and we've lightly sprayed it with the... Um, fabric refresher and by doing that and then and then I, then I get brave enough to say honey could you smell it <laughs> and then of course a lot of times uh, if it's passable we go we go especially certain things you're not going to wash but generally speaking wash everything inspect everything and take your measurements and in the description write down the waist is this big the length is this wide the hips are this wide. And you put all that down because people like that detail. I hope that's helpful to you.
Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> what's, up, what's up, Doc? I always figured that from you. Yeah. This is Resale Rabbit. Yeah. And we got to thank people. We want people to know that. You know, you got to thank them when they die. You know, they can't even think like, of the mutual things. Okay, slow down, slow down. Right. And what he's trying to say is is we want to thank them. And this segment, we'll be thanking some of our customers. Yeah, no, 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 no. All right, slow down. Let's go. Let's get going. I got to go. Mamma mia. I've always wanted to say that. I don't know why. But anyway, we want to use this as an opportunity to thank some of our customers. Kevin of Sacramento, California, my hometown. I was born and raised there, but he's going to be taking on the game verse of Ultron versus Sigma. I don't know who Sigma is, but I know who Voltron is. And he knows who he is, too. Then, we're going to thank Taylor. Taylor is getting Kelly Bundy, who's tailor-made for Taylor. Or not. And then we also have one of the favorite characters of my grandson, well... His belt. It's the Minion belt. That's going to go to Gabby. So congratulations, Gabby. You got the Minion belt. It's in here. It looks like that. So thank you, folks, for your orders. Well, I like. we'd like to thank Creston of Locust Grove, California. We can thank him by saying, Shazam! That's what he got. Got the Shazam comic book, the world's mightiest mortal, a very and a collector's copy of that. So thank you for your order, and um, I hope it enhances your collection. No doubt it will. I guess you've heard the expression "what the cat drug in." Well, this is what the dog brought in. Let's. What did you get there, boy? Let's see what you got. Okay. This is going to go to Leanne of uh, Waterford, Texas. Leanne, you got yourself some pink little pants. So I hope you enjoy it. Woo, woo. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Yeah, we'll just wipe all the slobber off it. Crazy dog. Well, good morning, Doc. How are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. So how was the medical convention you went to? Well... They canceled it. I wasn't able to go. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, thanks for the white off. It's getting in my eyes. Anyway, well, anyway, we want to uh, thank Steve of Tinley, Illinois. Steve's got some really cool bookends. The World Series. The World Series. That's what all. No. <laughs> oh, that's baseball. Oh, yeah. You ever play baseball when you're little? Well, I was afraid of the kid getting hit by a hitch. Well, that's the, the I'd stand on the plate and they throw things at me. They threw things at you? Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to stand on the plate. You're supposed to stand by the plate. Well, that's probably what I did wrong. Yeah. Well, anyway, we want to thank you, Steve. There's going to go out today. Okay. We're going to offer our, excuse me. We're going to thank Gabrielle of Austin, Texas. Gabrielle, she knows her. ABC's numbers and letters for fun, and this is what you got. So we're thank you for the order, and we're going to send it out and trying to get that light out of the way and everything. Anyway, thank you for your order. What I had? Well, I it was laying. Uh, I don't. Uh, but Bodhi, we got Bodhi here because Bodhi likes unboxing. Oh yeah, I like I like opening the boxes and see what we get. Yes, yes. And then we want to make her happy. Yeah, make me happy. Okay, let's make, ha make me happy. Okay, let's gotta go. Make me happy. Goodbye. <laughs> let's see what we got. Okay. Well, it's nice to have you with us, Leo. Well, it's great to be here. I, I got some wonderful deals. You got some wonderful deals. Yeah, I got your locks. Okay, well, what do you got? It's right down over here. Open it up. So this stuff, this right here. It's just great. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Leo, this, this you no know, no anything like this in the world. Are are you are you sure, Leo? You're not lying, are you? Oh, oh 
I, I'm a lion. Now I know you're a lion, lion. Sometimes you always, you don't always tell the truth. Well, I just I got a new little sales agency. Okay, let's see what you got here. This is just great. Here, let me get this for you. Look, Star Wars. This came from the original movie. A movie, really? No, you know. This is actual, actual Star Wars saga. Yeah, this is not the end. This is, this is a classic. Well, yeah, that's who is that? That's CCO. He's the first robot ever made. Well, I don't know about that. And then of course, then after that, who? Yeah, we got Kai Wen. Oh yeah, that's Darth Vader's son. I think that's really Darth Vader. Went back in time. I, I don't think. Yeah, no, no, that's what he did. That's what he did. Went back in time. Yeah, I, I know those things. Are you sure? And that's like this. Like just some really viable. You gotta have this. I don't think so. Oh no, no, I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't lie. How about this one? It's Han Solo. Oh, Han Solo. This is the galaxy. And then it's Han Solo. Yeah, Han Solo. This is great. Han Solo. He was. He used to. He used to battle Mister Spock and 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 Captain Kirk and uh, and no 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 that's the that's wrong shit. Oh, oh no I'm not, I'm not lying. Yeah I think you are. Yeah. Oh well this is all good. And here's another one. It's another Star Wars. Um. Anyway I don't know who it is. Oh. That's, that's Denzel Washington. <laughs> no, no, it's not Denzel Washington. It was not in Star Wars. Oh, he, he, he did the voice. No, you're thinking you're thinking somebody else did Darth Vader's voice. I can't remember now. And here's Chewbacca. Oh yeah, Chewbacca. Yeah, he used to be in the Tarzan movie. He grew up. He used to be Cheetah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. All right. Well, thank you for thank you for this. Is what we got and everything. Yeah. Oh, oh I, these these are all classics. They're just they're just so 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 cheap. Yeah, you gotta I, I always tell the truth. Thank you, Leo the Lion Lion. I don't lie. Yeah. Okay. Here's one of my favorite friends. They we call him Spot. <laughs> he don't have much to say, but he likes he likes going to Jockey. If you, it's not just because of the animal farm there, but all the different vendors and everything. So let's take a look at that, and 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 let's visit Oculot. He also likes to dance. They they, have, they got music there, dancing too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bye bye. <laughs>